Indian police have conducted raids and made a number of arrests over the illegal trafficking of kidneys. At least five people are in custody, including two associated with one of India's most prestigious hospitals. Our Sumnima Udas reports. Human kidneys. It's the most in-demand organ in the world. It's also the most donated. But there's a huge gap between demand and supply, triggering a thriving underground market. And the victims are most often the poorest in developing countries like India. Kidney trafficking bus is certainly nothing new in India, but the fact that you've got this hospital, Apollo, one of the country's biggest and most prominent, potentially involved, is making a lot of heads here turn. Investigators say they're now looking into whether, in addition to the middlemen, if higher level officials and doctors could also be involved. India banned the trade of live organs more than 20 years ago, making it mandatory for a committee made of government officials and doctors to approve every single kidney donation in the country. The goal was to crack down on the exploitation of the poor and ensure the donors are driven by altruism and not money. Police say in this case, a number of people from across India were lured into donating their kidney for some 4,500 to 6,000 US dollars and brought to a private hospital in Delhi for the procedures. Police say fake documents were made to show the donor as a willing relative of the recipient. Apollo is not commenting at the moment, but in a statement released over the weekend, the hospital denied any wrongdoing and said that they would cooperate with the investigation. They also maintain that the two suspects were not direct employees of the hospital and that they were working as secretarial staff for some doctors and that the hospital too has been a victim of a very well orchestrated operation to cheat patients and the hospital. Sunima Uras, CNN, New Delhi.